Good day everyone, this is CK and welcome to our basic accounting online tutorial, Advanced Studying at Home Before Starting Your Accountancy Journey. In this tutorial, pag-uusapan lang naman natin yung mga pinaka-importanting points about basic accounting para mas madali natin itong maintindihan. And also, this tutorial is a great introduction to incoming ABM students and review na rin for our incoming first year BS accountant students. In this video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay yung pagpapalawak ng idea about accounting equation. So, palalawakin natin siya through the help of problems and solutions na rin na i-explain natin in this video. Okay? So, let's start with our accounting equation. So, I think alam nyo na naman yung ibig sabihin or kung ano man yung mga yung accounting equation natin. And here sa ating screen, meron tayong tatlong forms ng accounting equation. So, we have assets minus liabilities equals equity. Assets is equals to liabilities plus equity. And assets minus liabilities minus equity is equals to zero. So, yung tatlong equation na yan ay pare-parehas lang ng thought. Iisa lang sila ng idea pero nagkakaiba lang sila sa formation or sa forms nila. Okay? So, for us to better understand this uh, um, accounting equation and kung paano siya ina-apply, we have here um, a problem na sasagutan natin. Okay? So, with the, ex the instruction, using the, ac the accounting equation, complete the following table. So, dito sa table natin, we have here columns for assets, liabilities, and equity. And meron din tayo mga um, values or amounts dito na given. Ngayon, meron tayong mga cells dito or may mga nakahighlight tayong um, cells dito na walang amount. So, yung mga naka-highlight na to, aalamin natin kung ano yung dapat na maging amount nila for us to um, determine or apply our accounting equation. So, let's start with our letter A. So, dito, we have here liabilities na 457,000 and equity na 270,000. Thousand. Ang nawawala dito ay yung ating assets. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, ipag add natin yung liabilities at yung equity natin to get our assets. So, we have liabilities na 457,000 and equity na 270,000. So, pagka-add, ang makukuha natin dyan ay 727,000. Okay? So, that's our assets. So, ganun lang kadali mag-compute um, and mag-apply ng ating accounting equation. Next one, for our letter B, we have assets na 1,006,500,000 na liabilities and ang nawawala ay yung ating equity. So, for us to get our equity, we have to deduct 500,000 from 1,006,000. At ang makukuha natin dyan ay yung um, sagot na 506,000. So, ganun lang talaga siya kadali. Okay? Next one, we have our letter C, assets na 309,000 and equity na 120,000. So, pag assets at equity naman yung given at nawawala si liabilities, we have to deduct equity from our assets to get our liabilities na 189,000. Okay, ganun lang siya kadali. Letter D, we have here um, liabilities na 756,000 and equity na 451,000. Ngayon, again, ang, pag, ang gagawin natin pag nawawala yung ating assets, we have to add liabilities and equity for us to get our assets na 1,207,000. Moving on, letter E naman. 
assets na 895,000 at liabilities na 148,000. And for us to get our equity, we have to deduct liabilities from our assets at ang makukuha natin ay 747,000. And lastly, for our um, first problem, we have here assets na 668,000 at equity na 222,000. So for us to get our liabilities na nawawala, we have to deduct equity from assets to get the answer of 446,000. So ganun lang kadali yung pag-apply ng accounting equation kung ang nawawala lang ay yung assets, yung liabilities, or yung equity. And kung ito lang yung given for our problem. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, para medyo hirap-hirapan naman natin itong pag, um, pagpapalawak ng idea natin about accounting equation, let's deal with our second problem. So, sabi naman dito, the following figures are extracted from various sole proprietorships. Using the expanded accounting equation, complete the following. So, here we have another table at meron naman tayo dito mga given for our columns na assets, liabilities, And tatlong column for equity, we have the capital, income, and expenses. Ngayon, since meron na tayong background kung paano i-compute yung ating mga given using our accounting equation, um, pwede nyo i-pause itong video natin para gawin nyo naman on your own or i-compute nyo on your own kung ano yung mga dapat na sagot sa mga nawawalang values natin dito sa ating table. Okay? So, kung ready na kayo for the solution and explanation of this um, problem, let's move on with our letter A. Okay? So, sa letter A natin, ang nawawala dito ay yung ating assets. So, we have liabilities na 96,000 pesos or 96,000, then equity na 56,000 for our capital, 46,500 for our income, and 32,500 for our expenses. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin dito, since expanded yung ating equity, meron tayong tatlong columns for that. Ito yung uunahin natin na i-compute bago natin i-apply yung pinaka-accounting equation natin na um, umiikot lang sa assets, liabilities, at equity. Okay? So, for us to do that, um, kailangan muna natin i-solve yung equity natin. We have capital na 56,000, income na 46,500, and expenses na 32,500. Ang gagawin natin dito, we have to add the capital, add the income, and um, deduct the expenses. Kasi kapag sinabi natin capital, of course, Um, dadagdag yan sa ano natin sa um, pinaka resources ng ating business same goes with the income and kapag expenses alam naman natin na yan ay palabas ng ating business so siya ay um, deducted ngayon um, i-solve lang natin yan 56,000 plus 46,500 minus 32,500 at makukuha natin yung Um, amount na 70,000 70,000 okay and and dahil nakuha na natin yung amount natin for equity saka natin siya i-apply dito sa ating assets liabilities at equity na accounting um, equation and dahil nawawala yung ating assets we have to add the liabilities and equity together for us to get our assets. So, we have equity na 70,000 pesos or 70,000, liabilities na 96,000, and kapag pinag-add silang dalawa, ang makukuha natin ay yung ating assets na 166,000. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. Kadali. Moving on, we have letter B. Ang nawawala naman natin dito ay yung value for liabilities. 
So, again, kukumputin muna natin yung ating equity bago tayo magtungo dun sa ating accounting equation. So, we have capital na 39,000, adding income na 86,000, and deducting um, expenses na 48,000 to get um, the answer of 77,000. So, meron na tayo ditong um, value for equity. Ngayon naman, i-add naman natin yung ating value ng equity dito sa ating right side or sa ating left side. And um, meron tayong value dito na assets na 151,000. Ngayon, ang nawawala ay yung liabilities natin. So, dahil nawawala yung liabilities natin dito, we have to deduct our assets or yung ating equity from our assets. At ang makukuha natin dyan ay yung ating sagot or yung ating amount na 74,000. So, ganun siya ina-apply dito sa ating problem. Next, we have letter C, um, assets na 182,000, liabilities na 65,000, at nawawala yung ating capital, meron tayong income na 37,000, at expenses na 25,500. Ngayon, dahil hindi natin makukuha agad yung value ng equity natin kasi yung isang column ay nawawala or yung value ng isang column ay nawawala, ang gagawin natin ay isosolve muna natin kung ano yung mga available na values under our equity. So, we have income na 37,000 and expenses na 25,500. So, ide-deduct natin yung expenses natin from our income to get our profit na 11,500. Ngayon, i- um, Isasolve naman natin dito ngayon yung ating um, assets and liabilities. Ilalagay natin dito sa baba. And isasolve natin yung ating equity. Okay? Yung equity natin kasi pwede na natin siyang um, i-apply yung ating accounting equation. So, we have 182,000 and 65,000 na liabilities. So, Um, deduct 65,000 from our assets na 182,000 to get the amount of 117,000 sa ating equity. Then, dahil nawawala yung ating capital, ilalagay natin siya dito sa ating left side. And ang mangyayari, ide-deduct natin yung nakuha natin kanina na 11,500 from our total equity na 117,000 to get our capital na 105,500. Okay? So, medyo naging complicated yung ating um, computation with this one. Pero, ganun siya kuhanin. Okay? Moving on. Ang nawawala naman dito sa ating letter D ay yung ating income. So, again, Kukunin muna natin yung available na values under our equity. We have capital na 42,000 and expenses na 26,000. Then, um, ipagmaminus natin tong dalawa. So, deduct 26,000 from 42,000 to get 16,000. Then, i-apply natin yung ating accounting equation dito sa ating Um, left side, we have assets na 123,000 and liabilities na 54,000. So, ipagdededact natin sila para makuha yung ating equity na 69,000. At yung 16,000 na nakuha natin kanina ay idededact natin dun sa ating 69,000 na total equity for us to get our income na 53,000 na value. Okay. And lastly, we have letter E. So, sa letter E naman natin, ang nawawala ay yung ating expenses. So, for us to get that, um, again, kunin natin yung available value under our equity na 37,000 for capital and 67,500 for income and adding them together para makuha natin yung value na 
104,500. Ngayon, applying our accounting equation, we have assets na 94,000 and liabilities na 25,000 to get our total equity na 69,000. And etong 69,000 na to ay ide-deduct natin doon sa ating nakuhang value for um, equity galing sa ating capital and income. And ang mangyayari ay 104,500 minus 69,000 for us to get our value na 35,500. So, dineduct din natin yung total equity natin o yung Oh, yung nakuha nating total equity doon sa uh, nakuha natin na value from our capital and income because ang kinukuha natin dito ay expenses. Kaya deduct talaga yung dapat nating gawin. Okay? So that's the end of this video. I hope na medyo nadagdagan yung idea nyo on how to apply accounting equation on some problems. So, ganun lang din naman siya kadali. You just have to know kung ano yung dapat yung i-prioritize para ma-apply nyo yung idea ng accounting equation. And that's all for this video. Para magpatuloy sa tutorial na ito, please subscribe this channel. It's CK Acts upang maging updated kayo sa mga susunod pa nating videos. Maraming salamat sa lahat na nanood and kita-kit sa ating next video.